हेलो ऑल एंड वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल माय नेम इज चंद्रमणि पांडे एंड थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर वाचिंग माय अदर वीडियोस टुडे वी विल एक्सप्लोर हाउ टू अनेबल कॉन्फ़िगर एंड डिप्लॉय एंटरप्राइज एप्स यूजिंग एंटरप्राइज एप कैटलॉग व्हिच इज एन एड ऑन इन द माइक्रोसॉफ्ट इंट्यून सूट्स बाय माइक्रोसॉफ्ट इट इज अवेलेबल फॉर ट्रायल एंड परचेस स्पेसिफिकली डिजाइन फॉर द एंटरप्राइज यूज Microsoft Intune Enterprise App Management enables admin to easily discover and deploy application and keep them up to date from the enterprise app catalog. The enterprise app catalog is a collection of prepared Microsoft and non-Microsoft application. These apps are Win32 application that are prepared as Win32 application and hosted by the Microsoft. Using enterprise app catalog admin can save time keep apps up to date and customize installation details for a smoother user experience important point is that for some self updating apps may need network rules configured for updates before we begin if you are enjoying the content please subscribe for more now let's see how we can deploy apps using enterprise app management so to do this we have to go to the intune portal and within intune portal the very first step is to go to the tenant administration and within tenant administration we have to go to the intune addons and within all addons we can see that i have already activated my microsoft intune suits addon and it is on trial period and if we click on the your addons we can see that i have microsoft intune suits trial version and if we click on the capabilities we can see that all the capabilities which this intune suits is providing is active like remote help service now is active then support for specialty device then we have a advanced endpoint analytics which is also active and in last we can see that the enterprise app management which is in active state and if you are not able to see this enterprise app management then you have to go to the microsoft 365 admin center portal and there you can purchase the addons so to do this you have to go to the billing section and you have to go to the purchase services and here you have to search for microsoft intune suits and then search it and then you have to go down and in the other services we can see that the microsoft intune suits is available we have to click on details and then we can see the details because i have already activated the trial version that is why it's showing manage trial it's also saying that you own this trial but in your case if you are not using this then you will have an option to start the trial version and, and then you have to subscribe that using the global administrator rights and once you have subscribed this trial version then you have to go to the intune portal and under the users you have to assign the license so for the demo purpose i am using admin account so we have to search for admin account and then within the licenses and within the assignment we have to ensure that the microsoft intune suits is assigned to the user and once this is done we are good to start the deployment of enterprise application now to deploy the enterprise application we have to go to the apps and within apps we have to select the windows platform and then we have to click on add and under the app type we have to select the enterprise app catalog app if you are not able to see this enterprise app catalog then check whether you have the microsoft intune suit purchased and the enterprise app catalog status should be active then you have to just click on the enterprise app catalog and then you have to click on select now in the select application we have to click on search for enterprise app catalog then we have to select the application which we want to deploy so for now there are a lot of applications like 7z there are some amazon kindle and android studio 34 there are some beyond compare blue jeans cisco jabber 14 cisco webex meeting 
Citrix Receiver app, Citrix Workspace app. Then we also have a Dell command update. There are some Docker desktop and then new desktop. And then we have Evernote, Foxy PDF editor 11, 12, then frame app, free countdown app, Google Chrome for business, Google Drive. Then we have the tree size app, land sweeper. Then we have some Microsoft Azure storage explorer, Power BI desktop, PowerShell core, Skype for desktop, some visual C++ app, visual studio code. We have a Mozilla Firefox also. We have a Notepad++, Open VPN. Then we have Java runtime environment version. Then parallel client 18. Then we have Python version also. There are some Royal TS 6567 version. Then we have screen to GIF app. We have a Snicket app. All version. We have a Zoom client for meeting also. So let me quickly select the 7-zip app and then click on next. And then we have to configure this application. So we have to click on select and we can see that the app information is automatically populated. If you want, you can select the logo. But for now, I am just deploying without logo. Then we have to click on next and we can see that the install and install command is automatically populated. If you want, you can also add the verbose logging, but for now I'm leaving as it is. And then we have to click on next. And now the requirement is automatically populated. If you want, you can change the minimum operating system version. Let me do it for Windows 10 2004 version. And then if you want, you can also configure the additional requirement. But for now, I am not going to do this and then click on next. And then it's automatically populating the detection rule. Then we have to click on next and then next. And, and now the app is created and is now going to publish in the Intune portal. And now we can see that we are getting information message saying that your app is not ready. The requested content is being prepared. Check back later. We have to wait for some time. Now after some time we can see that the Application is available for the assignment. We have to go to the property and then within property, we have to go to the assignments. We have to edit the assignment and then we have to select the assignment group. For now, I'm going to select all the devices and then click on review and save and then save. Now assignment is created. Now after some time, we can see that the Intune successfully installed the 7-zip application and if we click on refresh this add and remove program entry we can see that the 7 zip is successfully installed on the device and this is the install date and after some time we can see that the application status is showing as installed in the intune portal i hope this is an informative video for you thank you very much for watching this video